Triglycerides you've probably seen as well when you have your blood work done. It's another type of fat in the body. Okay. It's very important when you have your triglyceride test done as well as your LDL that you're fasting for those. Okay. The triglycerides, this can be caused when, you're, when you eat something and you take those calories in, your body converts it over into energy. Okay. So your triglycerides are one of those types of energy and it makes them go high. Okay, after you eat. That's the normal process. And then your body burns them off and it goes back down to your normal levels. Okay, but what happens if you wake up that morning for your blood work, you forget that you had it, you have your regular breakfast, and then you run to the lab okay, and you don't tell them. Okay, you say, oh, they'll never know. I know it was supposed to be fasting, but I'll just I'll have it done. Your triglycerides are going to come up high. Okay? So if you make that mistake, just let them know. They can mark it on the chart. They can still get a lot of the other blood work that they need. Okay? And if you've had problems with this in the past, then they'll probably have you come back to redo this one fasting. But the triglycerides can also contribute to the hardening and the narrowing of the arteries, like we worry about with high cholesterol. Okay? And I'll show you a graphic on that so you understand what that looks like. There are other things as well that can cause high triglycerides. If you have diabetes, okay, your body can pre be producing more of these triglycerides. Um, overweight and obesity can contribute to them. Problems with your kidneys and alcoholism as well. Okay. So alcohol in moderation can be good for you, okay, but if you have high triglycerides, they advise not having alcohol because that makes them go higher.